Yeah, okay. Welcome, class. Uh, today is the 28th of June, 2017, and uh, I'm glad to welcome the class uh, for this seminar. Uh, we'll be yes, getting... Yeah, thank you, ma'am. We'll be having a presentation by Gani Iroko, and I assure you it's going to be quite some interesting presentation. We are going to be... Uh, speaking on or discussing factor analysis and uh, uh iroko said he said so can we then take him on uh iroko you have the floor good evening it is jengri professor i'm here tonight to present on uh, factor analysis and uh, i will start with the introduction let's move to slide number two Factor analysis is a multivariate method used for data reduction processes and purposes. It is an explorative analysis, much like the cluster analysis, you know, that groups similar cases. The factor analysis groups similar variables into dimensions, and those dimensions are called the factors. Now, factor analysis has several different rotations, rotation methods. Some of them ensure that the factors are orthogonal. You know, we need to go look at that. The uh, factors are orthogonal. Then the correlation coefficient between two factors is zero, which eliminates problems of multicollinearity in regression analysis. That's uh, what I have in slide three. The factors between two factors, the, the coefficient between two factors is zero. Let's move to slide number four, the assumptions for uh, using a factor analysis. As we have in other parametric um, uh, statistics, normalcy of population, homogeneity of variance, random assignment, linearity, that is, there must be a relationship between the variables, multicollinearity. Now, let's move to slide five on history. We have a Charles Spearman pioneered the use of factor analysis in the field of psychology and is sometimes credited with the invention of factor analysis. And uh, Raymond Cattell expanded Spearman's ideas of factor theory of intelligence after performing his own test and factor analysis. He used a multi factor theory to explain intelligence. Now, let's proceed to chapter. And uh, let's proceed, proceed to slide six. Now, types of factor analysis. We have exploratory factor analysis and we have a confirmatory factor analysis. Let's move to slide seven, where we have uh, the mathematics model of uh, factor analysis. You hear yeah, it's not really hard like that. You can see it. But you don't need to worry yourself much about it since we have the uh, SPSS to meet for us. What are the advantages of using factor analysis? Data reduction tool. Factor analysis is a data redu reduction tool. It removes redundancy or duplication from a set of correlated variables. When you have more than two variables that are correlated, it removes the redundancy. Uh, it represents correlated variables with a smaller set of derived variables. That is the latent variables. Then factors are formed that are relatively independent of one another. Now let's move to slide nine, where we have uh, types of variables in uh, factor analysis. We have latent variables and we have observed variables. You know, latent variables are the variables that are not directly observed, but are rather inferred from one from other variables that are observed, and the observed variables are the variables that can be observed and directly measured. And you can see the diagram showing the observed variables and the latent variables. Now, let's look at this um, the study. This title says socioeconomic status and sex related differences in students' chemistry performance. You know, other performance we are to look into achievement, attitude, and practical skills in chemistry. And in this research question 
on, on uh, my slide 11 here, we guide us through the study. Now, what are the underlying dimensions, that is the factors of students' achievement, attitude, and practical skills in uh, chemistry? And uh, we, will guided, we will be guided by this, uh, by the data used in our last ES901 examination for this presentation. Now, let's move to slide 12. We want to use SPSS to, we want to use to compute our factor analysis. And what you will do, you know, we have, uh, once you collected your data, you can key in your data into uh, word processing or you key in it directly into SPSS. You have the two ways, any of the two. Now, if you use a word, you need to copy it and paste it into your SPSS. Label the variables for identification. Then you follow the uh, pro the, the ways. That is, you move to you go to analyze. From analyze, you move to dimension reduction, and then next to factor. From there, you proceed to where you are going. And what we will have is what I have in my um, slide 13. You know, slide 13 shows the data. And the slide 14 shows the step from anal analyze to dimension reduction and to factor. And this is what we have on slide 15. You can see after your factor, it will bring a dialog box, factor analysis dialog box. From there, you can move. We are to measure the achievement, attitude, and the practical skill. You move them into variables. And they are the right. Uh, Edge over there, we have other sub edges. We have descriptive, um, extraction, rotation, scores, and other. Let's be taking them one by one in a descriptive dialogue. You need to add a few statistics for which you must verify the assumptions made by the factor analysis. You know, what is uh, uh, compulsory there is, is to uh, we need the assumptions we need, you need to, um, Conduct your KFO test of sphericity. And then what is KMO? KMO is a statistic which tells whether you have a sufficient items for each factor. And the value for your KMO should be over 0 0.5. And then Bartlett test also is compulsory. It is essential for you to conduct. It is used to check the original variable Oh, uh, whether the original variables are sufficiently correlated. Then from there, we move to the next slide, which is the descriptive dialogue box. And you can see there, we have a lot of other options there. You can pick the one you have. That is where you have a KMO and... Uh, I think that's the, one, that's the one we just finished. Can you move uh, further? That's yes, the one we just uh, finished. You've done this. Yes, go ahead. Then we move to extraction dialogue box. You know, in uh, our extraction dialogue box, we have a method and uh, we have analyzed display and other things where you can pick the one you like. In the SPSS, can rotate the factors to better fit the data. The most commonly used in is Varimas. I think uh, we can see that in the um, rotation method dialogue box. We have Varimas, we have uh, Equimas. We have 40 masks. Any of it, the one that you want to compute, you can pick any of them. But for me, I, I picked um, body mass for my own data, for my own computation. From there, I move to slide 19, which is options dialog box. In option dialog box, you can manage how missing values are treated. It might be appropriate to replace them with the mean, which does not change the correlation matrix, but ensure that you don't over penalize missing values. You know, the, the last step will be to save the result in the score dialog box. But before you do that, let's move to the first dialog box. If you, if you click on save, you know, it gives TP methods, regression, and others. And you pick any of for me. I I picked regression. Then you press continue. After pressing continue, then you press OK uh, in your factor 
analysis box. From there, you get your output. And these are the output. We have uh, our, my first output is in uh, slide 21 and also in uh, slide 22. From there, you proceed to, to report your findings and they discuss what you got from your SPSS. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. my presentation. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Iroko. Yeah, you can hear the applause from the class. Uh, I think you have uh, done no, done done quite well. Uh, only the matter of not hitting at the meat of the presentation that is where you uh, falter. You falter there like you did the last presentation. You see, the heart of the matter is in your last. The, the output that you have. You have not interpreted the output. You ask the research question. We have the data. Uh, as I said, for a statistician, advanced statistician, are you using SPSS to process? The joy is for you to be able to make meaning of the output. Now you glossed completely over the output. You did not tell us what KMO results that you got, what the uh, results that you got, uh, what, what they mean. You don't tell us what the other, uh, all, all those factor loadings. I can see that four, three factors. Uh, let me just go there now. I can see that uh, you got, uh, let me see, uh, three components uh, extracted. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we're not able to see the eigen values of the components that uh, you, you 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 selected. You only oh yeah, that's initial eigen values and the percentage variances. So you 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 needed to to explain to us what this particular table means and what this coefficient score component. Excuse me. Component score coefficient matrix means you you need to explain all of that before just jump into uh, the conclusion. So uh, I, I'm sure that when we uh, meet in class, we'll be able to uh, get better explanation of, of this. So that, that, that that's just my uh, observation on your wonderful presentation, which is very clear, so clear, uh, clear in terms of the. Uh, lack of noise at, at, the, at the background and clear also at the uh, initial stages of the slides that you presented. So let us take uh, comments on the presentation. Uh, I'm going to go uh, from my right, the right of my screen uh, to the left, uh, Shaibu, followed by Omar Kafif. Shaibu, you have the floor. Yeah, we can't hear Shaibu. Can anybody hear Shaibu? No, sir. The others are not answering. No, you know, if any other person is hearing him, let us know. Is anybody hearing Shaibu? Not at all, sir. Okay, that's fine. So, Moraka Faith, after that, Mary Olayo Yes. Omoraka Faith, yes. Okay. Um, thank you, Dr. Iroko. You mentioned something you. about um, the name of Topo now. And I know what now has to do with right, right angle, right angle. Uh, and on slide 9, good. I just want to ask, did you use Amos? And I can see some circles and some rectangles there. So I want to know, one, did you use Amos to get this? This result you have on slide 9. And if you talk about on top of I was expecting to see more rectangles. But now I'm seeing both rectangles and, uh, and circles. So can you please explain that? Very good. Which slide, which slide is that, Madam Dr. Faith? Slide nine, sir. Slide nine. Then we just go there very quickly and just see. Yeah, okay, I can see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So you need to tell us whether you, you need to tell us whether you use Amos for this one. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's that's good. Cool. So, uh, Madam Mary Olayoju, followed by yes, sir. Uh, followed by Ari Ibi. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes, I have to uh, comment and make the first one of the observation. Yes. I observe that uh, most of uh, the demonstrations on the CSS, they are small. 
such that you need to do it. Can you speak a little bit louder? Can you speak a little, a little bit louder, madam? I know it's uh, 9.30 p.m. Yeah, well, I can... I, I, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I'm saying for the demonstrations that, you know, we have done some of the demonstration sites from the IPC down upwards. Yeah. So I would just have uh, appreciated that if the sites were too large. Okay. Especially sites 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. That you need, you know, because normally if you go through the slide, it should be explicit. Instruction should be so explicit to the extent that you can just follow the instruction from analyze for the next thing. But I couldn't get them, I couldn't get the steps of the SPSS because they were so tiny. Ah, okay. That's yeah, that's fine. Yes, I also want to join Dr. Faye say, say, um, on slide 9. Was he? Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, he's going to answer you on your uh, on yeah on the question of the size of the diagrams uh, showing the process. Uh, in my case, I can see the thing very clearly. Perhaps you did not use the slide show view of your PowerPoint. Uh, of the PowerPoint slides that he used, maybe that is why, because I, I, I'm, I, I, I was able to see it very clearly. On the matter of uh, uh, the Amos thing, just like Dr. Moraka Faith said, I, I, I have not seen an output from factor analysis that will generate what he has there. So quite clearly, he, he must have used Amos, which is quite uh, different from you know, the, the output that you get from factor analysis. See, he, he could have. You, uh, ask the the system that's SPSS uh, to do a plot to show how the variables are being rotated, and that will have given you some very nice graphics. But it's different from what he has uh, he has shown to us. Maybe he will tell us a little bit more about this as uh, when, when he gives a response. So Larry, followed by Billy. Okay, yes, I, I cannot hear Larry now. Okay, go ahead. Like, um, the question was like 11 actually, and it's not, it's not on the same thing slide. But I just want to have an idea of um, a research hypothesis for this. Okay. If we can get a research hypothesis, then we can understand what we are actually looking out for in the calculation. So I want the researcher to help us state a research hypothesis for studying this. Sir. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, Larry, what's been of research hypothesis? A research hypothesis in the sense that um, there will be no statistical. Oh, okay, you just, just say, you don't know. Oh, okay, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just ask the researcher to state a hypothesis, not research hypothesis. Research hypothesis can either be null or the research hypothesis. So just say you should state a hypothesis for your research. So he can then decide that it's the null form that is uh, rendering. So we we'll ask him to do that. Uh, I'm taking on, uh, he has disappeared from the class now. That's Bile Yi. So the sequence will now be uh, Fakule if he's there, Famuide, and then Oyewuchi. Fakule, you have the floor. Yes, I'm on slide 19. Yes. Short aspect of observation. That should be slide 22. It's not confirmed. See, see what's needed in that position. And uh, I also want to know where precisely I could use more analysis for your research. Uh, okay, next, uh, Famu Ide. I, I, I joined. Uh, Francis. Yeah, so, um, actually, uh, I'm looking at the um, slide 52. Okay. The tables there, even though they are not legible enough by my system here, they are too small, but um, the presenter has to explain these items for us to understand the what we're talking about in this table. Okay. For the conclusion. 
Exactly. That's exactly, I mean, that's what I raised with him. And that's what he did yesterday. Uh, where the meat of the presentation is, he just skipped over. That's the meat of the presentation. You do analysis, you have the output. What does it mean? What do the tables mean? So he normally will not, like yesterday, he didn't uh, tell us about about what the uh, the tables uh, meant, and today he's doing the same. And uh, so maybe he will do that today. Uh, I think that's it. Let's uh, turn over to Yuroko Ganiu for his response to our observations and questions. Uh, Ganiu. Responding to the uh, questions raised one by one. Yes, go ahead. Those are statistically independent, which tends to the I hope you get. I don't think she does, but 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 you are very correct. Your answer is very correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes, can you? We can't hear you well again. Can you be clearer? I can hear you clearly, sir. No, I'm not talking about you hearing me. We're talking about us hearing you. Uh, okay, sir. Now, on a slide nine, what I have here is not um, the Amos. I'm not talking about Amos here, but I'm using it to describe the uh, types of variables that we have. You know, if you look at the observe, look at the arrow showing the observe, those are the uh, factors, those are the variables that you have. Um, those are the variables that you have. And then those variables, the factor analysis. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yes. Yes, Iroko, we are listening. It's not uh, the output here looks like that of uh, part analysis or, or Amos. I'm not talking uh, of Amos. I'm just using it to illustrate the observed variables and the uh, latent variables. Uh, no, no, Thank that's you. fine. No, that's fine. Listen, I, I think you, 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 you missed the point they are asking you. Is this uh, this figure? Generated by factor analysis or by Amos. By Amos. Uh -huh, that's what they're asking you now. The, 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 and your answer is by Amos. It's not, and Amos is not part of factor analysis. So the, you, you, you've just uh, told them that uh, they, are, they are fears about this being Amos. You have allayed their fears that this is actually Amos. Yeah, very good. Wonderful. Go ahead, please. Okay. Understand that I use it to translate the latent variable. Uh, the null hypothesis for yes. the research question raised. Yes. I can put it this way. Is there a statistically significant difference in the underlying dimensions of students? Yeah. So, okay, I think it is now time to bring the class to a close and to appreciate you all for a very, very, very uh, wonderful seminar today, the 28th day of June 2017. We thank you, Roko Ganiu, for the excellent presentation. And, uh, thank you, sir. God, wonderful. Uh, Francis, uh, Bileyi, Johnson, uh, Fakule, uh, Olat, Olare, Waju, Ari, be a class captain, uh, Dr. Miri, Olare, Ju, Dr. Moraka, yes, and Shaibu that, uh, making efforts to, uh, communicate with us, and the others who are able to join us. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you, uh, in class tomorrow. And uh, it's at one o'clock, and it won't last, I will have just about 30 minutes, you know, uh, to discuss the, uh, that matter with you. So okay, till tomorrow. If you're able to make it to class, bye bye. But let's 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 find out those who are presenting tomorrow. 
Landry or Bile, who are those that are presenting tomorrow? So tomorrow we're looking forward to having our session on non-parametric statistics and we trust that uh, the class captain, that's him here, Olari Waju Aribi will be presenting. And uh, recall also that tomorrow, Larry, you are bringing your birthday cake to class, aren't you? Yeah. All right, bring your birthday cake to class and we'll take some nice picture. We'll take, uh, uh, just a second, uh, we'll take a nice picture with you. So until tomorrow, class, it is uh, good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.